Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick run through on the things I've been doing in my first week of setting up an e-commerce store completely powered by affiliate links. So thanks for tuning in to the channel Start Starting Up. On this channel, I'm trying to make money online by trying out different methods, talk to you through these online gurus, making myself a human test subject and basically giving you the rundown of what's worked for me and what hasn't so you can try and replicate that success. And my focus at the moment is making an affiliate store on Shopify, which is completely run with affiliate products. So the money that you make through the store is from the commission that you make from referring your audience to the affiliate products and driving those affiliate sales. So in terms of reaching milestones and driving tons of sales, there's not gonna be much to report on that aspect this week. This is my first week of getting this store moving and up and running. And it's been a really conceptual week, really. A planning week, deciding on my niche, deciding on my marketing strategy, and how I'm gonna be moving forwards. So in terms of making a store and, and driving audiences to my store, that's gonna come in the next few weeks. But I'll give you a rundown of what I've been doing this week in my sort of pre-launch planning preparation week. So to start off, I had to decide on my niche. Um, something I've learned from previous projects is it's really important to have a clear idea of who your target audience is and the type of niche of products that you're gonna focus on. So from my previous uh, projects and making money online, I've mentioned last week that I've made most money in the past from selling fashion products. So I already knew that I wanted to make a fashion affiliate store this time around. So with that in mind, I drilled down to an even narrow audience, which I'm not going to reveal to you just yet um, because I want to get this up and running and get a competitive advantage up ahead of other people. But you just need to know that this week I decided on my niche and that was a really important thing to have decided in order to move forwards. So once I had my target audience and my niche identified, it was then important for me to decide on a brand name. Um, so I wanted to choose a brand name that was representative of my niche and would be really sort of clear and obvious what it meant from a completely new person reading the brand name. So I had a few brand names in mind. And what I did was I went to a social media handle and URL checker. And what this site does is it lets you type in different ideas for a domain name for your store. And it tells you if that domain name is available on different social media websites, such as Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, all of the different media webs, different social media websites. Because you're gonna want a social media presence to drive people from your social media accounts to your store. And I've learned in the past it's important to have the same name across all of your different social media accounts and also on your website. So I wanted to make sure that the domain name, the brand name I'd chosen was available for a domain name on my website and across all of these different social media sites. So I went to this website, typed in different ideas, and I basically waited until I found a brand name that showed me all green ticks on all the different social media websites. So I knew that that name would be available as a website and also on the different me social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and so on. So once I had decided on a brand name, I found one that was available on all those different platforms. I went to uh, my domain name company and purchased that domain name for the next 12 months. So that domain name of my brand is now mine to own for 12 months. And once I had the website purchased, I then went on to different social media platforms and I secured an account with my under my brand name on all of those different platforms. So. My brand name account now exists on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr, YouTube. I've secured all of those pages under the name of my brands. So going forwards, I'm gonna be able to go ahead, build up my website and build up my social media presence on all of those different websites and platforms under the same brand name. And finally this week, after I had my brand name decided, I went ahead and I commissioned a graphic designer to go away and design me a logo with my brand name in mind. Um, so it was important to decide on a brand name first, but once that was done, a graphic designer friend went away, designed me a few different logo ideas. I chose the logo I put like the most, and now I've got a brand name decided on and a logo that I can use across my website and all those different social media platforms in the future. So it's a great 
milestone for moving forwards. And that's pretty much it at this point. Like I said, it's a gradual process. This is a conceptual week of planning, deciding on things, um, and setting myself up to have a really intensive couple of weeks of building and trying to drive sales. So this week was the preparation week. Make sure to tune in in the following weeks where I'm actually gonna be going ahead, building those websites, building those social media platforms, letting you guys know what I have problems with, what I'm finding easy, and so you guys can have some help if you are hoping to do this yourself. So as always guys, thanks for watching this channel Start Starting Up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like and a comment. If you are doing your own um, affiliate marketing projects and you've got any tips or you've got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments box below. I really appreciate those comments as always. And finally, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.